And she says, when she saw me, she looked at me and she said, oh yes, he will be mine. <laughs> and so uh, I, <laughs> yeah. And so I, no, I really, I went to her with everything. I confessed too much. And I said things to her. I really, I never was away from Bethy over seven days maybe, mm -hmm. and the whole relationship. Because she was so Beth, where are you at? I go get my hair done. She's like, you've been there an hour. I miss you, Big Daddy. Where are you? She burglarized my phone. <laughs> no, she put trackers on me. Oh, I, I've, she, got, I've got all that going on. I thought I was the only guy with that. <laughs> yeah, I would find my friends. My, yeah. So, that, no passwords allowed for me. Let me, let me can I, if I can, you, you were so close. There are so many things that were dear to you of hers. I was really struck. I felt pain personally when I learned that you've been burglarized. Yes, sir. That folks had, had stolen things from you that are irreparable because they were best. Right. Okay, if you can, what, what, what is going on? How'd you find that out? What did you do when you heard that, that this had happened? Well, I got a call said the office got burglarized and she had two tasers. Someone got one of them, okay? Because she was four ahead of me in tasing. She walked in, the positive ID, we'd all, you know how we do two minute warning, yes. it's a positive ID. She walk in, pow, I mean, that's it, they're down. <laughs> Cuff them, big daddy. <laughs> so really, she's, so that to me meant a lot. And so I think they know who did it already, because I give the guy 48 hours. I still had mercy. Where mercy is shown, mercy is given. Mm -hmm. And I've been given a lot. There's a lot of forgiveness in you, and this is another place you can probably show yourself. Hey, coming up, dog needs your help. We want to identify the man we just talked about who robbed his store. And we've actually got the suspect's pictures. Oh, Stick you do? Up. Yeah. We're back with Dog the Bounty Hunter. He has a new show called Dogs Most Wanted, but he also has an active case and he needs your help. Take a very good look at these photos, right? This is the suspect that police believe may have robbed Dog's store in Edgewater, Colorado and stolen items that belonged to his late wife, Beth, including the taser. Yes. And we joke about this stuff a little bit, but when you lose someone that's dear to you, then you lose the things that they gave you, you're stealing their memories. So if anyone out there knows <laughs> anything about this man, head to DrOz.com slash Crime Hunters, and we'll have the contact info for the Edgewater Police Department there. So you gave this guy 48 hours. Yes, sir. Which I think was, was really forgiving of you. He didn't act on it for whatever reason. Right. Maybe he missed the message, maybe he's too scared. What do you have to say to him now? Time's up over, pal. Well, he's not gonna turn himself in, I don't think. <laughs> Listen, along with Dr. Oz, there'll be a little cash I'm involved too. You wanna tell? All right. Uh, yeah, I got a cash reward. All right, come on, step sit for a second. Thank you. So one of the things that I've noticed with grieving families is that folks who are unethical target people in pain. Because yes, they sir. know they can take advantage of you. That, yes, this sir. applies to giving people opiates. It applies to you know, teaching folks bad habits. It also applies to stealing their money. So let me ask you the, probably the most important question of all. You're going through a dark period. What's the best advice for Americans out there who are grieving like you are now? What's going to get you through it that can get them through it too? You got to come on Dr. Oz's show. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed meeting you. God bless you. Thank you for.